All right, welcome to the Morning Hustles. The dude who's on a hell of a wave right now, and he got one of the most talked about albums in the street. If you ain't picked up the Bible, what are you doing, man? Woo. One time for five of your four. Hey. Good <laughs> man, I feel like we should like have like the word bubbles pop up too, like or with the, the sound bubble, effects, Batman the style. If it was to come on the TV, if it came on the TV every time I said it, it would have been crazy. <laughs> well, let's talk about the TV. But for TV a second. is crazy right there. The TV, that TV is crazy. Unlimited drip is, is what you present, man. Yeah, like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. take us back and, and tell us what was going on with this outfit. Where were we when this went down? Um, this this the BT Jam Sound BT Awards. But they kept they kept telling me I was overdressed and shit though, bro. Really? Yeah, they kept telling me I was overdressed. I was, was like, yo, since it's the BT niggas don't really be. I don't know. It's my first time. So. Nah, I thought you looked good. I thought right. you you fit in with everybody. I was there on the carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you definitely crushed it. All and right. you supposed to you supposed to make a statement. Go crazy every you time. You know right? uh, exactly. Forget what everybody so else doing. I thought they said we don't dress up enough mm. for the black award shows. Mm-hmm. You know, catch up in anything. But nah, you put together something. Yeah, yeah you threw on. It. You know, it's my first time around, so <laughs> I'm hype. I was hype as hell. Yeah, you got to make it a thing. Now, Bible. What what does Bible stand for? Because you have it's an um, acronym. Yeah, yeah. That's that's um basic instruction. Before we leave Earth, I'm saying like, I'm saying like, like um, like you know the the original Bible is like a story from people, from people in the Bible in them times. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying they life stories, whatever they went through. You know what I'm saying you read it, you add it, you prepare it to your life. You know what I'm saying you go through it, and you, it helped me, right? So that's what my my album is. I'm saying my album is my version of Bible, my Bible. Yeah, Bible. You know what I'm saying. And you get real personal in it. You know, you talk about betrayal, yeah, you know, looking yeah. out for people mm-hmm. and just a yeah. lot of things that you overcame. Like, you know, yeah. and some people have a problem peeling back those type of layers. Is it easy for you? Um, I mean, I, when I be when I be doing it, I don't really be thinking about it. I, like, you know what I'm saying? At first, at first it was like, at first I, I wasn't on that type of time. You know I'm saying at first I'm doing songs, party, turn up, you know what I'm saying, but. I feel like niggas started to want to hear. Niggas started to want to act and rap shit so much. You know what I'm saying? I don't post, and I don't really be posting nothing. Like, I don't post about shit, but I be doing it just because I just throw it in the joint, throw it in the music. I don't really talk about nothing like that either. Like, but I just put it in the music. Makes sense. Everybody's saying you got one of the greatest albums this yeah. year, which is a big, big deal. Yeah. Um, one of the people that helped you executive produce it, that would be Kanye West. Mm-hmm. We've been seeing you running around with him lately. Yeah. One of the songs on there that I really, really like, you and Quavo, Through the Fire. Uh, was that a song that was already put together pre Ye? Or how did that work? Because obviously we know he has Through the Wire. That's mm-hmm. one of his classic records. Mm-hmm. Did he influence that record at all, or did he rename um, it, or did um, nah, coincidence? Nah. What, what happened is, what happened is, I already, I already had my whole. You know I'm saying I had like all everything in the setup. You know what I'm saying like all the songs. You know what I'm saying um, Quavo, Quavo wasn't on the song before the, I went to Don the Fool. You know what I'm saying he heard it, he heard the song when it, when, when I was when Ye was playing. Quavo was there. You know what I'm saying he heard it. I'm saying, but Ye, what Ye just, Ye just, I already had my shit. Like I had the beat, I had my verses. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, Ye just added a little extra verse, uh, extra um, drums to it. He added extra choirs and shit to all my shit. You know what I'm saying, but then Quavo was like, "Yo, I want to get on that shit. That shit hard." You know, Quavo was there. Quavo on, on this album too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he was like, "All right, fuck it." He was like, "That sound good." So me and Quavo was in the studio just going crazy. So that's what that's what we did the magazine and now we did two joints one day. Oh, so that's Quavo all in. That was in one because it does. Flowing to each other, yeah, so I can see Quavo. that, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So you and Quavo, can we see anything else going on with you? Because I know he actually had a project that was supposed to be playing with Pop Smoke, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that anything that may be in the works with you and him? A little more than those two records? Um, yeah, hell yeah, we gonna work together some more. We gonna do some mad shit together because I should be sounding good together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know Quavo, he fuck with all of us. Like I'm saying, from the town. He's shit. from Brooklyn, low key. Like yeah, 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 he <laughs> from Brooklyn, like. When you look at all the different demands that are now being placed upon you, man, because mm-hmm. the wave is high right now, you mm-hmm. know, high records by yourself, high records with Nicki, everybody talk about your album. How are you balancing it all? Because sometimes when things go from, you know, zero to 100 that fast, some people's like, yo, I can't take it. Like, how are you yeah, balancing I, it all? Yeah, at first, at first, I couldn't take it. You know what I'm saying? At first, I'm saying I was I was going through shit where I was, I was like, I was taking extra drugs. I was going crazy on myself, you know what I'm saying? But... It's 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 a little more. It's uh, you get used to it. You know what I'm saying it's like it's like you get you kind of get used to it. you get used to being on stage in front of the people. You get used to people like you just gotta pace yourself. You know what I'm saying like niggas was calling my phone so much. I used to be turning my phone off. You know what I'm saying like instead of telling niggas yo don't call me, but it was so much. It was so much call. It was so much text from people. It was 
was some it was some everything I just I just disappeared for like two days. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying at a time, but now I'm just I'm I'm kind of more used to. It. I'm kind of able to deal with it. I learned how to like you know what I'm saying like 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 answer this, explain this. Don't answer a couple calls. Do an interview. Do a show. Don't drink so much. Don't you know what I'm saying like pace myself. You just gotta you just gotta learn how to pace yourself through the shit. Is there a process like kind of like detoxing from doing a lot of drugs to like nah, curtailing? I just, I just be going. Cool. I just be like, I just be like jumping in shit. So I'm like, man, fuck it. I ain't gonna just. I'm just not gonna do it today. I don't know. That's the only way I know how to do it. Just mm-hmm. straight. Now go just do it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. You could definitely notice and see the difference in you because, like, you know, interviewing you before, yeah. you see the growth. It's like now you realize that you're really a business and yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. You have other yeah, people that are dependent on you. That's a fact. I'm yeah. Play with this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit real. But you still have real life things going on to you. You lost a really close friend to you mm-hmm. um, recently. Mm-hmm. And you still have to keep working and keep moving every day. We recently heard Pusha T open up about losing two of his parents yeah. and said that, you know, he currently is still grieving, but you still got to do interviews, still got to go out. So what keeps you going? Uh, um, like, what do you tell yourself? Yeah, no, my shit is, my shit, yeah, see, I lost, like, you know what I'm saying? I lost my mom, you know what I'm saying? I feel like my, to lose my mom is one of the biggest, you know what I'm saying, the biggest losses, because that's, like, the person who you really, you know what I'm saying? You lose your mom, you like, all right, it's over. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's over, like, you know what I'm saying? I can't call nobody, I don't go to jail, I can't, there's nowhere to go home to no more, so you feel like, you feel lonely. You feel like you know what I'm saying that, so you just make it. So you got two. It either could make you or break you. you know what I'm saying, so you just. I use it. I use it like I. I use it like, I think, like what 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 would they want me to do? You know what I'm saying, how would they want me to like? You know what I'm saying, bring bring their name on. Like you know what I'm saying, you can't be like a bum ass nigga. Like yo, my mom's name was because people know her. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, so they like, oh, you vet son. Well, like, you know what I'm saying, no, you gotta you gotta show up. Type of shit. Like, right. Vet son. I'm sick type of shit. Yeah. But that's how that's how I look at everybody. Like when I lose people, I'm saying I, I live, I gotta I gotta go viral for that. I'm saying, I'm showing up. I you got Beyonce, that. Calandra, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. you got the yeah. green. So that Destiny Child, like that song, is Destiny Child song. You know what I'm saying, so right. I gotta shout out all of them. You know what I'm saying, but you, you actually leave them out. You, you, leave them out. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave them you out. Saying? But you actually had a conversation nah, with nah, Beyonce nah, that nah, altered nah, the nah. song, I right? Spoke to, I spoke to Big John. Oh I great. To, I okay. speak to um, Beyonce directly. He was just he was just relaying the messages. You know right, what I'm right. He was telling me what part of the song she liked. She liked the respectfully part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what, what's the hardest bar that you had to remove from that song? Oh, like, you man, know, for I people who want to know. <laughs> nah, I was saying, I was, I was just saying, I was just saying, um, I said, uh, I said, fucking up in the backseat. You know what I'm saying, instead of, I'm saying, I said, I said, diving that pussy deep throat. I was going. I'm saying I ain't say brush like I said deep though, but I still had to respectfully join in there. But you know what I'm saying it was just a little too rough on the on the girls. For I'm me. not gonna lie, when the blinks come in and the edits, I say deep, deep throat. Yeah, yeah, nah, <laughs> so nah, either nah, way, I can see why that nah, why that was saying deep though. But I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, some of them you got a couple records where you talking to the ladies. I'm like Fabio, you're a little too hard. <laughs> like I'm scared you gonna uh, shoot me nah, or nah, we about to safe. have sex. <laughs> I'm saying you gotta listen to the left side. You safe with me. So you're a romantic kind of guy yeah. on the low? Um yeah, I do a little romance, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Romance, what's the romance you know like? What's the I wanna know what's romance for you? <laughs> me, um a romantic a romantic day. I'm saying me cause I now like now I like the I like like my shit is like I like I like I be liking a peace of mind. So mm. if I'm like with a girl, I'm trying to I might go to somewhere like that's real like private, you know what I'm saying, just me and you. Oh, okay. I, I, I see what you do. Type of lady, type of thing. I like it, that. That's my shit. That's key. Now, when you look at the, you know, the the, the lineup, <laughs> everybody you got on there, a yeah. lot of New York representation on there, which we love to see. Because yeah, yeah. there was a narrative going on for the longest time that like New York wasn't really united, yeah. wasn't together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you? What are your optics on that now? Like, how um, united is New York? Because you see a lot that, of collabos and duos coming out. They were saying that you know, New York wasn't in. Uh, in, in Together, they were saying that. I mean, that was the narrative for like the longest time, especially when you look at like when Fifty was beefing with everybody, and then like oh, things started to piece together. But in the last ten years, you started to see a renaissance. Saying, you know, like, New York is so it's like it's so big and it's so active all the time. Like you know what I'm saying, so it's like it just it just be a lot of and it's a lot of different sides. You know what I'm saying, a lot of different like one borough may have like seven 
pounds in the like size. I'm saying so. Mm -hmm. It's like it's so it's like it's like niggas be having egos and niggas be just repping their hood and all that. So that's what it be. But like I'm saying, I feel like I feel like New York is getting more together. You know what I'm saying. It was good to hear Brooklyn and Harlem on the same record. Yeah, yeah, you know New what I'm York, saying? When you connected York, with ASAP. New York is getting more together. You know what I'm saying? I got I got I got song with almost all New York, like every almost every New York artist. You know what I'm well, saying? one Even person you don't have a song with. <laughs> you know I was about to come. Takashi six nine. <laughs> so one of the things with New York is always constantly that mm -hmm. title. And uh everybody always wants to hold it, and that's the king of New York, mm -hmm. right? Uh very touchy title. Uh Takashi the other day claimed it. He was in Brooklyn, lo and behold, filming a video, and he called time, you out. What time was that? He was there. It looked like the middle of the day, maybe noon. It looked like the middle of the day. Like 10 a.m. It was empty. That shit looked like 10 6 in the morning. Yeah, it was given like nobody was awake. 6.30 in the morning. You just came know, home. I don't know. You know, you, know how he, you know how he go. You know how he be feeling. Yeah. That's what, that's what he said. But do you feel like it's counterproductive when you do things like, because obviously Drill has kind of like a bad rep when it comes to certain areas, and you did a peace walk mm -hmm. with the mayor of New York. Do you think it's counterproductive, like, going back and forth with him when you... No, I ain't go back and forth with him. Not really going back and forth, but it's a little shots and jabs being made. I mean, I just said my statement. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I say my statement. You know, everybody... I mean, niggas gonna feel... I ain't tripping. Like, I got... You know what I'm saying I, like I, I got real shit. I go through real like thing. You know what I'm saying I got real shit that we go through. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm not really. You know what I'm, saying? I'm like I don't really like I don't even I don't like I don't even care a little bit. You know <laughs> right. So no battles, no nothing like that. Cause you know that's normal in rap when y'all go head to head and records and things of that nature. We not gonna be hearing nothing like that. Nah, I don't know. I ain't doing that shit. I, I mean, I mean that's not that's not what that's not what my career. Like I feel like a nigga like that. It, I'm saying his career is based off of that. That's mm -hmm. what his career is built on. I'm saying like to just be the fidgety son, the cat acting like you got a problem with trolling. everybody, the imagination problem, imagination. I'm saying the trolling shit. That's not what my shit is based off. My shit, mm -hmm. my shit based off like niggas fucking with me, not niggas hating me. I'm saying so my shit, little, my shit a little different because I got real, I got real situations that I'm going through. I'm saying right. So and then I don't want to like speak on that shit and then it get messy for real. Right. I'm saying then like get caught in the fire and all that shit. So, so should we still be talking about the king of New York and who's the king of New York? Who do you think? I mean the people the people told me I was the king of New York. I'm saying the people in New York. I'm saying like so it's like I'm saying like you can't like the king of New York gotta be like loved by the kingdom. I'm saying that's the only way to do it. I'm saying. So all that other shit is just cap. I'm saying this is like real it's like real life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a heavy moving title, man. Like a lot of people wanted that at one yeah, point in time, I, and right I mean, now the lights I, I on wasn't you. Going, I wasn't going never. I wasn't going never say it never. I'm saying like I'm saying niggas was telling me like yo, bro, you should be the king of New York a minute ago. And I'm saying I just I'm saying man, I just fuck. I'm just embracing this. Song. Everybody's saying it so much. Man, wear that crown proudly now. You talked about battling briefly, right? And I know, like, you used to be a big battle rap fan. Yeah, yeah I used to you know? battle rap. Well, mm -hmm. You know, so, like, when you first got into, you know, rap, I imagine your bars was a little bit different. And now you have a, a total mastery of this drill shit. Mm -hmm. So how tough was it for you to make those adjustments? And do you miss some of the old styles you used to tamper with back in the day before you got to here? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't, it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard because... I'm 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 into the, I'm into what's going on now. I'm saying so. We, I'm listening to music and listening to everything that's going on. I'm saying like um, and then I'm like, all right, that's what we doing. And I just did it like that. It was it was it was just regular. It's na it should come out naturally. Now, yeah. to an untrained ear, what is the difference between like the New York drill sound mm -hmm. and the Chicago drill sound or UK? Um, what's the difference? I don't know. Uh, let me see. I think it might be like the, it might be like the beats a little bit like you know you hear you know what I'm saying like I feel like I feel like we doing a lot of we doing a lot of sample drill beats now mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying too add that to the joint you know what I'm saying like I think the, I think the UK beats and the beats in New York is more similar than the Chicago joint you know what I'm saying drill beats but I like the shit. Like it's like you know we all fuck with I fuck with all the drill shit so it's like I don't know it's hard to say the difference but I think it's the beats probably the beats you know what I'm saying probably the beats yeah how's your um fan base out there in the UK 
Like how did they yeah, accept shit. the drill my coming shit, from New my York? Shit big out there. Yeah. You know I mean? Like my shit big out there, UK, Canada. My shit number one in Canada. Nice. My album number one in Canada on Apple. My number one, number one in Africa on Apple. Drill music. You know what I'm saying like, like I had like I was on I was on I was on a song um body remix. Twenty 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 one last year that shit was the number one song in the whole country in That's the whole United crazy. Kingdom. That's you know crazy. I'm saying like it was the number one view, most viewed song on YouTube or some shit like that. So so drill was big out there and they fuck with me. So I, I don't know. Like I, I be hearing like other people be talking like, yo, New York drill. I don't know. Yeah, because it's shit kinda kinda That's like almost yeah. like the chickens coming home to roost because you know how like those British people come over here and do American accents really well and win all the awards for like acting. It's the music <laughs> version of that. Like, yo, like New York is owning this drill shit right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna we going crazy. We're going viral. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> well, you were acting. You did Queen. Oh, yeah, I did Queen. And, uh, you know, you talked about your relationship with, or your friendship with Eve where she gave you some pointers and yeah. things of that nature. Yeah, yeah. Can we see you acting in anything else? Um, Hell yeah, I'm about to do some more shit. I'm about to do some shit with Eldris. Eldris? Oh. The actor? Yeah, the guy. The, Which the, one? The accent. Yeah, oh, yeah Idris Elba. Elba. I'm, about to do some shit. I'm about to do some shit with him. I um like they about to start shooting some shit. They planning some shit. I I I'm, I told him I want to roll and shit. I don't be having a um I don't be having a um rehearse like what's that shit called? Not rehearse. Like memorize your script. No, not memorize. Audition. audition. I don't be having an audition no more. I used to. Oh, excuse. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. They ask you for the man by name. <laughs> okay, yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. I tell him I want the role. They got me now. So that shit different now. Like, but let's just say if you could pick your ideal role, that's the complete opposite of <laughs> what we know you for. What would that be? Um, cause I think I think Queens was more like Queens was more like me. It's like yeah. they just, I be myself. Yeah, me out. And shit. But um, um, something that's not me, like opposite of me, and I'm saying I probably, I probably be like a, I don't know, like a doctor or something. I could act like a doctor. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, Beck, you going to be a patient? Yeah, I'm going to be the patient. All right, what's up? How you doing today? Uh, doctor. Um, what's wrong with you? Tell Ow. me what's wrong with you. My neck, my back. Your Everything neck and your is, back? Yeah, my neck all right, and my so back. I can't massage you. I'm, but this I is, think this, that's against the No, no, no. <laughs> see, my, my hospital... My hospital is a little different. I'm saying. Like, <laughs> See, nah, nah. I don't know what kind of hospital nah, this is. Healing nah. hands hospital. <laughs> nah, I was, I was you. I'm gonna call the person to massage you. <laughs> okay, I think that's a whole different business. You know, I was really surprised that because uh, I thought once people went around Kanye, they had to wear the boots all the time. <laughs> so did the boots come with like the entry? Did he know your size and they was waiting for you, nah, or but, how did it work out that y'all no, got the nah, Balenciaga you know joint? You know, it's crazy. Yeah, he got mad. He got mad merch and clothes everywhere. I'm saying from everywhere, from Balenciaga to Yeezy. He got mad jackets just laying around. Donda and bullshit. And like, if we doing something, he just be like, "Yo, what's your size?" Like, yo, get, yo, get a size. <laughs> like he, that's like, crazy. Like he, like he, like everybody that was, like he styled everybody. Everybody Donda around too. him, he styled. Yeah, he just be like, "Yo, this bitch is gonna look nice," and like he just went, like he go crazy. That's what he do. But what if you're like, I actually like this jacket for today. Nah, he wear it. He ain't <laughs> but okay. he, 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 you know, I'm saying that's Jay. You, yeah. you might want to like what he like. You know yeah, that's true. I'm saying you like, you know that's true. Because <laughs> when you got two billion dollars <laughs> in the bag, I mean? I'm like, whatever you like. <laughs> Doing something right. <laughs> like you was at Camp Kanye for about two weeks when he was like posted up at the at the yeah. state. What's the vibe like there to everybody who wasn't there? Like, what um, are you doing when there wasn't a live streaming event? Nah, um. Shit, that shit when it was live stream, it was like basically the same shit off and on the camera. Like that shit was just bobbing. I'm saying niggas was working out for real. I'm saying it got he had a lunch lunchtime table. Like he 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 kinda like gave me my own area to let me go crazy. I'm saying so I had my, my viral Casamigos, I'm saying a couple blunts. And I just went crazy. Like I had my little area. I was chilling. It was like it was like it was like real like work, like studio time. You know I'm saying niggas was in there working, running around, you know I'm saying, producers. Everybody was there. I'm saying it was lit. You work. It, it was in the stadium. It was like a real camp. You work with Mace at one point in time too. Are y'all still in any kind of contract, or do y'all have any business together still? Um, yeah, I'm. St I'm still signed. I'm still signed for Mace. He still got me signed for um for a while. From the beginning, <laughs> did he diddy you, or like as you said, for a while? <laughs> is he being a hypocrite because he gotta, just put out a record? Yeah, I see. But you know what it is. I gotta. I gotta. Um. I got to really, like, I got to really, 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 it's, I don't know his contract with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I don't know how, I don't know how Diddy really did him. Okay. 
I just know my shit ain't my shit ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like my shit ain't crazy. Like I got my publishing deal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying certain shit I got, like I got my tour. You know what I'm saying? I got certain shit that I you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Um but I don't know what Diddy got from him. I think Diddy got all his shit like publishing and all yeah. that. He ain't do that. But he did you know what I'm saying he did a he did I feel like he's I feel like you know what I'm saying when you sign to a nigga it's still a little fucked up situation. Yeah. A little, always. It's always something in there. I just don't really know yet. You know what I'm gotcha. saying I gotta really look into it. Like, I just, I just know I did the deal. Right now, I'm happy with the, with the, with the money and shit. Right now, you know what I'm saying. Right. When I go back for my, my second album deal. If I do something like that, then I can really talk to my lawyers. You know what I'm saying and see what and really sit down. Right now, I've been, it been like work nonstop. Like I've been on the run. Like I've been on. The, I'm saying going crazy. I have time to sit down and relax, but mm-hmm. I feel like this album is out. I'm going to tour. I'm saying go viral, and then I could really like figure things out a little better. I'm saying I told him I want to have a dinner with him. I'm saying yeah, sit yeah, down and really right. talk. I'm saying mm-hmm. really see what you know I'm saying. See what, if uh, anyone can understand, I, I it little, should be him. I was Absolutely. A little disagree. If we got like a disagreement, I I, I I saw him say that. I saw him say it was something yesterday. I ain't know he said it. But there's something he said. He he taught he taught me the A A shit. He said that. Did he? <laughs> I'm asking. Come on, he ain't teach me. Hey, 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 but you taught me can't. it just now. <laughs> but who gave you the most game out of everybody that you deal with, you know, in the business, as far as, like, you know, how to move, how to move better, you know what I'm saying, and, and keep that moment going? Um, Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody, everybody I've been around, like, been gave me advice, you know what I'm saying? Like, every person, like, from, like, the game, Meek, you know what I'm saying? Meek was telling me about the perks, uh, like, early, early, like, I'm saying Nikki, you know what I'm saying, telling me like I'm saying try not to take these people in this business too personal and mm. you know I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, just about loyalty with these people and like you know what I'm saying, Future was telling me, um, uh was before my out when I was I was with Future and was down to two shit, you know what I'm saying, cause he was out there fucking with Yay shit. Now Ye was fucking my shit. And he was just like he was like, um, I'm about to, you about to be big. This is right we this is at the um City of God shoot. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, yo, you about to be big. I'm saying, stay out the, stay out the club, stay out the, don't get seen yet. So after your album drop, don't let nobody see you. I'm like, worry, like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying, you are, you an artist, so if they see you, let them see you in the studio. You know what I'm saying, be with 50 right. Brooklyn niggas, too. You know what I'm saying, that's what he's saying, come outside. But he's telling me, he's telling me, like, man, little, little, you know what I'm saying, how to be exclusive and shit like that. You mentioned game, you know I gotta ask you, who rap better, the game or 50? Who rap better? Mm-hmm. Um, Who the better rapper? To me? Mm-hmm. Let's see, the game with 50 right now? Yep, period. I, right now, I think the game got it. Okay. Right now, you know what I'm saying? And back I then? 50, I, back then, I think I think, I think think 50 had it back then. You know what I'm saying? The game of Eminem? The game on Eminem? Um, so I really fuck with the game, too. Like my, I my could tell. Brother, for real. You know <laughs> um. No, Eminem, I don't know. So I, I mean, I mean, you know, Eminem is like the nigga they say, he like the the goat, right? So they say, mm-hmm. he's going crazy. They say he the goat. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I guess Eminem. You know what I'm saying? J and Cole or Kendrick Z Lamar? <laughs> J Cole or Kendrick Lamar? Um, they be saying Kendrick Lamar is a goat too, but I, I like J Cole better. I think me, I listen to more J Cole. He connect with you on a different level, like yeah. I would I would listen to J Cole before Kendrick Lamar. Me personally. Mm. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Kend- what the Kendrick Lamar be rapping about? <laughs> it depends. From <laughs> album to album, he be having spiritual yeah, epiphanies. Yeah, he be having some things. But, you know, yeah. I, yeah. his yeah. music meets you where it need to meet you. Like, I mean, I always tell people all the time, like, it's going to be all right should have been, like, the Negro National Anthem for the time it came out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, going to be all right, yeah. yeah. Oh, we going to be all right? Yeah, like, you know, because the world was going through a lot of things at that time. It was the perfect record for the it right time. It was a good feeling. Yeah. Now, you lied for quite some time to the people, right? That's the name of the song? No, I'm talking about you. Oh. You lied about your age. Now, this is something that uh, you was told to do. Did you uh, at no point try to fight against it? And why yeah, do you I think? Him. I was like, yo, why I got to love my shit? You know yeah. I was like, just do it. I'm like, all right, whatever. Was there a reasoning behind it at all? Nah. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know. I'm saying, I'll just be listening. I actually <laughs> think it's better to, because there are a lot of younger kids out here that's not really uh, creating great music. But for you to come, you're 32 years old, yeah, right? Yeah. And <laughs> How old were they saying you were? 26, right? 
Oh, you were, oh, they rolled back the Adama six years? Yeah. I mean, I, he I could got, go for that. The, I got the young baby face. He do look young. That's what's up. You know, moisturizing. You take care of yourself. That's regular. Yeah, that's what's up. So what else are you lying to us about? Lying. <laughs> 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 Know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know whatever I had to lie about. I, lie right. about. You know I know that's right. If you got it, you got to <laughs> do it. One thing that's not a lie is Bible is out right now. Yeah. Fans yeah. want that deluxe. I looked at the track listing for the deluxe. It's like we are the world. Everybody, <laughs> where are we getting the deluxe? Where, 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 where the track listing at? Uh, I was looking on Genius. Is this is this true? Uh, it, I don't know. It, Genius, you got to watch them They nowadays. say that they got it, man. They, they would never have the, So I ain't even finished the deluxe yet. We know Uh-oh. Nas is on it. Okay. 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 <laughs> is there a Megan Good remix on there? Megan. Juice World. With Juice World, that's the thing. I had. I mean, I had that song. I had that song a minute ago. You know what I'm saying. I'm, I, I love to put it out. They niggas be leaking my shit a lot. That's what. That's what it be like. I don't know. My, one one day, one time, like I had mad songs. Like I had a whole album done already. Um, but they leaked it. I, mean, mm. I scrapped that whole shit. Like I see a couple of the Kid Leroy uh, features on here. Apparently, uh, Little Dirk pops up here a few times. Ain't true. You know that? you gotta see Little Dirk on there. I mean, that's all people I really did. So I mean, those <laughs> are songs that really kind of like people already know I got. You know yeah. Saying? But I got shit that niggas don't know I got. Oh, so you know so saying? what's one secret weapon you got in stash? Something that you could let us know about. I know Drake on there. Yeah. A secret, a secret person, Um, or just a big tune that you excited about? I got, I got got some shit. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for a verse back. I got some shit with with popcorn and Stefan. I got Stefan. I'm waiting for that. That's gonna be fire. That's gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire. Yeah, that one's gonna be big too. But you got one with what's my name? You got a TikTok viral. What's your favorite song? The, you know, I the, like what's my name. I'm not going to lie. Top? Yeah. Gonna we going to do it? Yeah. You got to teach me. I'm not really the dancer. You ain't watch it? Yeah, I know. I know the... All right, so you got to... <laughs> All right, say that, say that. <laughs> so, you so. didn't do anything. Because <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. It's kind of easy. I, I mean, no, it's I good for someone like me who I, I don't do those challenges. We, nah, we, know, we're we're a cha- dance challenge. I, challenged. Never, I never do no TikTok. Me either. neither. Challenge and none of that. Like, I'm saying I ain't never do no TikTok one of them dances I was out there, but now nah, I mean I was just having fun with this shit, like you know what I'm saying, like opening new shit, exploring new shit, and I'm saying coming out my comfort zone a little bit, and I'm saying. So you created the dance? Nah. Oh. I saw it's, it's, it's this girl on, 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 on TikTok. You know what I'm saying she mm-hmm. she just did the dance. She got like two followers. No. Like nobody. Yeah, yeah. Let's shout it out because uh, you know they black the black, black creators content creators on, get shitted on. Yeah, black. on TikTok they nah. get shadow banned, all kind of stuff. Nah, they so. shadow banned me on Instagram. They shadow banned me on everything. I don't so. know what that was about. <laughs> I can't though. help you. <laughs> Instagram only likes when my mom dies. No, what? Why would you say that? Because that's the only time I get love. Like you oh know what I'm saying? God, that's awful. It is terrible. They're morbid. Shit out, man. But anyway, yo, listen. We, he got, he got figured out. Yeah, he got. We got. We want shout out. Let me find Shorty. I really don't even know how to work the shit that good yet. Damn, y'all. Yo, I so, feel like I, you got the Beyonce record on the cusp because she's already on the radar. She mm-hmm. already listening and See, all this that. right here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's give, a, shout out. let's give some shout out to Little da Daf, F- Daf Punk. Punk. Little Daft Punk. <laughs> L-I-L-D-A-F-P-U-N-K. She definitely has 11 followers now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hit her while her numbers <laughs> are still low. Get her to do a dance for my joint. All right? Look, I ain't got none. I, I got like 40 like, or 70 or something. Me and L'Oreal going to adopt her. Yeah, there we go. Well, yo, Fabio, <laughs> Bible is the album. It's out right now. You're going on tour. You're going to be pulling up in Atlanta on May 25th. Oh, yeah, I'm out with Atlanta. What other cities you hitting on, on the road? You know I'm saying? Pull up. I'm going to every city they got. I know that's right. You know I'm saying? Whatever city they got, I'm going there. Yeah. You know I'm saying? That's Will my, Smith that's jumped on a drill too. beat. Would you, would, you, nah. would you fuck with him? I'm fucking with him. I'm fucking with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's drilling. All right. He literally got his hitters with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> 5 and the people want to follow you. Where did they go, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bow. If people want to follow you, yeah, Fabio, where can they go, bro? What was that? That was Bow? <laughs> Teach me how to do it. Bow. Oh, nah, I don't got the. Cook. She said it like the food. Cr- like Cr- bow. 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 Oh, I like did do it. <laughs> Yo, you wrapped it up. I don't think I could do it now. Cr- bow. Cr- bow. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's alright. It's alright. You think? <laughs> oh, but they want to follow me. Yeah, man. Oh, follow me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying, Fabio, um, former underscore Adafest. 
I'm saying on Twitter, I'm Fabio Foreign. I'm saying I got an app. I'm saying follow the app. Oh, nice. And I will. And I'm saying people that okay, love me, okay. motherfucker from Russia. I like that, that jacket thing. that you wear.